Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys an update to my Flower Cardian deck profile for February 2017. Uh, this is probably the most requested deck profile I got after my Performer Pal deck profile um, since post Raging Tempest. Uh, we got some more support in the pack as well, and it's a really fun deck where the whole basis of the deck is to just get off your Flower Cardian combo. And with the new pack released, we also got a new starter monster, or I'd say boss monster for the deck. We also got another effect monster for the main deck and a spell card as well. So bringing you guys the update, it's really cool. I'm not sure if we're getting any more Flower Cardian support after uh, this pack, uh, but I like where the deck is now. They have their big boss synchro monster, and other than that, there are just you know, so many combo plays you could do. So let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. I run three Cardian Pine. He is your still your main monster of the deck, which is why I like to run three of him. Uh, when it's normal summon, you draw a card, show it, then send it to the graveyard, unless it's a Flower Cardian monster. You can only use the effect of Pine once per turn, and if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you draw a card. So he's draw power when he's summoned and destroyed, and... Uh, basically, what you want to do off of all the draw effects for the Flower Cardian monsters is draw Flower Cardian monsters just to keep your combo going because you want to get a field full of Flower Cardians and then use all of them to synchro after they become level 2. That's how you get out your big boss monsters and even your other ones since all their level ranges are from basically 10 to 8 to 6, all even numbers of 2, uh, making him very essential just for your setup since he's also the only one that can really be normal summoned in the deck. I run two Pine with Crane as well. There's also a mirroring fact that monsters for the Flower Cardians have a 100 attack and a 2000 effect monster with the same level. So Crane is the one that mirrors Pine, because he's basically Pine with Crane. Uh, it cannot be normal summoned or set, must first be special summoned by attributing one level one Flower Cardian monster except for Crane. If this card is special summoned, you draw one card. If you do show it, then you can special summon it if it is a Flower Cardian monster, otherwise send it to the graveyard. At the end of the battle that this card uh, intact, or if this card battled, draw one card. So with the 2000 attack one monster, he's a little more viable for the attack basis and the draw power. Like I said, you want to stick to drawing the Flower Cardian monsters with your combos also. Um, I only run two though because you have to attribute the level one, meaning if you open up too many of this and not enough uh, original pines, you really can't do much with him unless you get him out ignoring the summoning conditions. I also run three Zebra Grass. He is your level eight uh, Flower Cardian. While you control level seven or lower Flower Cardian, you can special summon this card from your hand. You cannot normal or special monsters for the rest of the turn except for Flower Cardian monsters. And if this card is normal or special summon, you can reveal any number of Flower Cardian monsters in your hand, shuffle them into the deck, and then draw the same number. So I run a majority number of the Flower Cardians that can be special summoned or normal summoned in the case of Pine very easily with the deck. Um, Zebra Grass is an example of this. You just have to have a level 7 or lower to get him out. He has a counterpart that requires a tribute to get out, but I only run two of him just like I did with Crane. The shuffle effect is also good because you'll get ones you need necessary for your combos. And I also run three Flower Cardian Willow. This one is you need a level 10 or lower Flower Cardian monster, special summon this one. And you can target one Flower Cardian in your graveyard, shuffle it into your deck, then draw a card. So once again, additional draw power. Yeah, the ones that have the easy special summon do have 100 attack, but you're going to use them for your synchro summons. So in the end, it all works out. You don't want to leave them on the field alone with your opponent. And I run two Flower Cardian Polonia. Uh, just two of this one. While you control level 11 or lower Flower Cardian Monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you cannot normal or special summon the rest of the turn except for Flower Cardian Monsters. And when it's targeted for an attack, you can negate the attack, end the battle phase, and draw the card. So it's more of a situational Flower Cardian, one that you would use on your opponent's turn, which is why I only run two of this one. Um, so he's more of a stay alone one if you don't use it for the Synchro Summon to negate the attack, so you don't have to worry about attacks. But still a very viable one in the deck. Plus two uh, Zebra Grass with Moon. This is the one that cannot be normal or special summon except by tributing a level eight. So in this case, uh, Zebra Grass. And with this one, if it is a Flower Cardi monster, uh, it has the same send effect. And if this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, draw a card, just like the other 2000. It's just another one to get out with the big boost attack, but like I said, only two of this because if you reverse the numbers, it just gets a little cloggy and hard to special summon. 
I do, however, run three Cardian Willow with Calligrapher. This is your tuner of the deck, and he basically makes all your other Flower Cardian monsters uh, level two, including himself, for the Synchro Summon. Otherwise, they all have huge high numbers and are impossible to summon. Um, you have to special summon it from your hand by tributing a level uh, 11 Flower Cardian monster, except for it. You can also get him out um, other methods with the deck, but we'll get to that when I um, reveal the cards. Um, also, two uh, Flower Polonia with Phoenix. Uh, cannot be normal summoner set except by tributing one level 12 Flower Cardi monster, except for Polonia. This is basically the counterpart for uh, Calligrapher uh, in your hand. So, uh, with this one, uh, once per turn, when this card inflicts bow damage to your opponent, draw a card. Basically, the same effect as the other one, and just another tribute effect. Uh, the two of, though, with this one as well, just for the uh, lack of abilities to do with this card when it's in your hand alone and you don't have the needed monsters on the field. And these are actually the easier Flower Cardian monsters to summon. I run two Maple with Deer, and must first be special summoned from your hand by attributing a Flower Cardian monster, so there's no specific requirements for this card. And you basically, if this card is special summoned, you draw one card, and then if it's a Flower Cardian, you destroy one Spell or Trap on the field. So this is your spell popping uh, Flower Cardian monster. And I also run two Flower Cardian with Boar. This one pops monsters in the same method that uh, Maple with Deer does. I'm only running two Deer and two Boar though, just because yeah, the pop effects are good, but they don't play well into the combo as well as special summoning. They have the tribute effect, but you want to have as many Flower Cardian monsters on the field as you can to get off the special summons. But if you tribute too many, you're just left with these, and they're not tuners. You don't have any other draw power special summon. It's just pop effects, which is good in the deck, but like I said, good at a two and two. And I also run two Peony with Butterfly. This is another tuner you can run. It's a draw effect as well, as well as the same tribute effect with Boar and Deer. I just like running the backup tuner, having five tuners in the deck really helps speed up the Synchro Summons. And I run two of the new Blossom with Curtain. This card honestly almost made me want to run 41 cards in the deck just because I had a tough spot on what I wanted to take out for a third one of this. It uh, basically, you special summon it. Um, you can reveal this card in your hand, then draw a card. If it's a flower card in monster, special summon this card, and otherwise you would send it to the graveyard. It also has an honest effect where you can discard this card when a flower card in monster battles. It gains 1,000 attack. So you can protect your big synchros because basically your flower Cardian Light Shower has 3,000 attack, but most of the time your opponent's going to find a way to attack over this, and that's where this card comes handy, because we have hand traps for this deck now. And that is it for the monsters. We run a big monster count, but like I said, it plays off of the whole mechanic of the deck. Uh, but for spells, I run three Flower Gathering. Uh, next to Pine, this is the easiest way to get your special summon off. You special summon four Cardian monsters with 100 attack and different names from your deck in attack position, but they have their effects negated. Also, they cannot be tributed for the summon. Uh, you can only activate one Flower Gathering per turn. You cannot normal or special summon except for Flower Cardio Monsters. Like I said, easiest way to get them out. It's a one card, four monster plus. Can't go wrong there. And like I said, their effects are negated, but you have a lot to go off of after that. And I also run three of the new Reincarnation. This one allows you to add back Cardians from your graveyard. So if your opponent attacks over your Pine, you can grab it back with this and reuse it. That's the one problem I had with the deck. I didn't know how to get back Pine or you know make use of another one. This card uh, goes great with that. And if this card's sent to the graveyard by the effect of a Flower Cardian monster, it basically allows you to check the top five cards of your deck and excavate them. And if you do, add one of the excavated spell or traps to your hand and place the rest on the top of your deck in any order. So it's basically the best card you'd want if you don't get a flower cardian monster off of your mill just because it has that um, search ability and then you rearrange the top of your deck so you'll know you'll get other cardian monsters and I run three super koi koi you excavate the top three cards of your deck and special summon as many flower cardian uh, as possible among them ignoring their summoning conditions but their levels become two um, they have their effects negated and uh, if you don't draw any you pay 1000 for each it's just another special setup with this card speed setup basically um, you do have to take a you know, risk of burn damage but well worth if you could possibly get three monsters on the field to use 
and also two flower stacking this card as it says just you know um, stack your deck with different flower carding monsters so you'll get the guaranteed combo you want off just two though three kind of got cloggy because if you stack too much yeah it's good to have them on the deck but if you don't have anything else to work with um, basically it's not good to go by and if this card is in your graveyard you can target one flower carding monster in your graveyard add it to your hand you can only use the effect of this once per turn by banishing this card another good add back effect though and the only non-Cardian Cardian card I run the deck is one reinforcement to the army. Um, it Most of the time, and all the time, I'm just going to search out Pine, but it always is usable in the deck, which is why I like to run this one card. And now for the extra deck, I don't have a complete extra deck for this, just because you're limited on what you can summon, but I do run two uh, Flower Cardian Light Flare. He is your big monster of the deck. You need all five monsters out on the field to get this guy out. He's a level 10. He can negate a spell or trap once per turn. He uh, stops monster effects from activating when your Flower Cardian monsters attack. 5,000 attack points, and when he leaves the field, you can special summon a Flower Cardian Synchro Monster from your extra deck. So you can basically get out your next big guy, which is light shower i would run three light shower but sadly i only have one at the moment he's another immune effect and by giving up your draw you can inflict uh damage to your opponent each turn with this card 1500 points of damage it's really cool 3000 attack protects your flower carding monsters uh, really great card to go with and also three board fly i just max out on the synchros except for your big one like i said there's no way you're going to get out three of this in one turn but two there and with board fly if a flower cardio monster you control attacks defense monster it's a piercing effect and once per turn you can banish one flower cardio in your graveyard to the rest of the turn your opponent cannot activate effects in their graveyard and they cannot special summon monsters from the graveyard so it's a great negate uh, for the uh, graveyard and the piercing effect helps if your opponent decides to play defense and you attack especially with your uh, big flower guardian guy you get this guy out first and then get this guy out after since he's a smaller summon so yeah that's it for the deck profile i hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like and subscribe and kira twig out